Hey, what's going on, guys? Ira here, and welcome back to the episode of my F1 2019 manager career mode here with Red Bull Honda for round number 13 here at the Japanese Grand Prix. If you guys did miss the previous one, then be sure to go check that one out because it was a absolute thriller, real stunner of a race there at the Russian Grand Prix. Had surprise pace for pole position, and the race got very, very tasty. Uh, actually, admittedly, at the very start, it was a little bit bland, but then at the very end, wow, it got very, very hot. And uh, spoiler alert, we came away with a win for Max Verstappen, looking very, very good. We're now second in the championship, and I said at the end of last episode, we're now going for Ferrari. We are what, uh, 278, they're 300 points exactly, and so I think we need to try and aim for Ferrari, because if we can get to second place in the championship, that means we get way more prize money for next year, and that could be a big bonus trying to really tackle Mercedes, because especially Hamilton's AI uh, in this game is so OP that we really need a top, top car to even try and challenge him. Um, so we need to, you know, get all the money we can. We've already got a good stash of money, 24 million, uh, 24.8 million to be exact. And obviously we're not spending any money until the last race because we're still building this amazing legendary Honda engine for the end of the season. So, uh, you know, we're saving that money, but it'd be even better to get even more money from the prize pool. Um, so we're going to gun for Ferrari. You know, we should be able to get them because right now on paper, our car is better than the Ferrari car. So I'm confident about it. And Japan has always been a very fun one for us. Very, you can, uh, yeah, it kind of um, almost rewards aggression, really, at Japan, especially at the very end of the race. If you're pushing hard, you've got the tyres for it. Um, so looking forward to this one. But we've got an interview first of all. Uh, which one of your drivers is better? Just going to say Verstappen. That's not going to affect gas in any way, shape, or form. But it's true, to be fair, in the game. Uh, pit crew, we're going to have a look here because uh, we've got a lot of people that have just gone away because I didn't rehire them. So that's a little bit of a my bad on my part. We're going to hire this guy, level 17. To be fair, the percentages aren't too high here, apart from this dude, which is not great. So we're going to swap him in. Got an 18 there, to be fair. But actually, you know what? I probably really should have looked at the uh, pit crew, um, the actual the amount of races they had left on contract. I always forget they have contracts that can run out. So we're going to swap in this guy for the front jack. 2.3. That's actually pretty much what we had before, actually. That's not that's not too bad there. So we'll stick with what we've got right now. Um, actually, uh, 16, 16. That's about the same, actually, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to rest this guy up. Um, and this guy... Wait, why is this guy... Did we just hire this guy? What? Why is he 0 0.2? We don't have him in our team. What? Ooh, I think I had him on front jack by mistake. Okay, so we can swap him in with this dude. And so we've got 2.27. That's looking a lot better. This guy's 1.3%. That's 1.4. That's a little bit iffy. Um, But we're just going to have to deal with it. And we'll reject all these guys and probably hire some new ones next episode. So that's my bad a little bit for not remembering to check the contracts there. But it's not the end of the world, to be fair. Um, So we're going to move on then into Japan. Because uh, unlike uh, last episode... Oh, actually, unlike last episode, there's six sponsors to do. Okay, so slot three. Let's have a look here. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I waited because we've got a five-star sponsor appeal after Verstappen won. Last episode, we only have a four-star. So last time, we got a four-star of Tag Heuer. Now we've got a five-star appeal, and we can get five-star sponsors of PlayStation. Sigafredo, I didn't pronounce that right. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts, oh my god. Right, all of these are upfront payments, though, but there's so much more than what we were getting for Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer, I think, was 10 million or like that. So let's work this out then. What's going to be the best deal for me then? So over 18 races for... I'm going to have to type this into my calculator, so bear with me. Uh, you can't obviously see me typing into the calculator, but that's what I'm doing when there's a bit of silence. 14.4 uh, million divided by 18 races. That's 800k per race. So then we move on to the middle sponsor, 15.8 uh, divided by 21. That is seven, uh, 752,000 per race. So at the moment, PlayStation's giving us the most money. And then 16 million, nice round number, divided by 20. And it's 800k per race. So that's 800. Dunkin' Donuts, 800k. Just want to recheck and just make sure I didn't make a little mistake here. 14.4 divided by 18. That's 80, 800 per k. I'm going to go with PlayStation. One, it's the better sponsor out of the two. I'd rather have PlayStation than Dunkin' Donuts because I've always been a fan of PlayStation. I'd rather go with PlayStation than Dunkin' Donuts. It just seems like a cooler sponsor, to be honest. And also, it runs out two races earlier, so you can redo the sponsor quicker. So we're going to get that. So it's going to be a little bit less money up front, but obviously over less races. And so we're going to confirm that. And that is going to be a nice sponsor. Where is that going? Is that on the rear wing? Yes, lovely. Right, slot six then. Uh, we're going to go to... Uh, we're not going to do Visa, because we don't need a bonus. 
We've got a five star and a four star fixed payment. Oh, that's a no brainer. Just going to go for Juniper Networks. Okay. Accept offer. Yep, yeah, we'll take that. And so that's going to be where? Uh, where is that actually? I can't even see where that is on the car. Is that on the edge of the car? Where is that? Juniper. It's trying to show me where it is on the car, but I can't see it. Does it not show up with the mod? I don't think it does, maybe. But anyway. We got some good good money coming in. I think finance wise, we're really good now. 1.8 coming in per race. We have an additional obviously bonus with uh, what we get from uh, what was it Panasonic. We get an extra 1.2 million. So I can't actually tell. Maybe I think we're earning a little bit less. Maybe perhaps because I took an upfront payment. I think we had a fixed payment here for slot three before, but now I've taken upfront. Uh, but we have now now 39.2 million in the bank. Very, very good. Let me move to here. Sponsors. No, we've got the best sponsors of the grid, actually. So, yeah, we've got some banging, banging sponsors there. Love it. Love it. So, we're sponsored by PlayStation now and Juniper Networks. Very, very tasty. What a positive start to the to the episode, then. So, we'll move in to the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, we've got Ferrari upgrading their simulator, but they're not brought new parts. That's just their HQ that's being upgraded. So, no worries there. I, think, I still think we should have the pace over them, over Japan. We've got Max's birth day. Uh, I don't mind spending 100k. That's a drop in the water for us for plus 10 morale for Verstappen. That will keep him nice and happy and motivated on top of that race win going into Japan. So let's just move into uh, in towards practice. Right, Panasonic taking that in. So if we get the objective, we should get 3 million. So yeah, we I think we maybe had a deficit of maybe 100k there maybe with our new sponsors in a way because we got 3.1 Last episode, but that might just be a bonus, maybe from the chairman as well. I'm not too sure. So that, I think we're, I think we're fine. Um, so medium tire wear, we'll take it. It's going to be maybe raining in the race, so let's take in six sets of super softs, four softs, and I'll take four mediums. Yeah, nice even spread. I don't really know how we're going to go about things, so I'd rather just go cautiously into this race weekend. Fit parts wise, we're all good. Uh, I'm happy with yeah, giving them what they had last time because Verstappen clearly is doing a good job. Uh, won the race, but equally, Gasly is still doing a pretty damn decent job with an inferior car. You know, if he's in form, so I'm happy just to stick with what we were, what we were from last two episodes. Let's get into it. Right, going with soft tires because there's only about a 10 lap difference between the softs and the medium, so I think the softs are going to be the way to go for us and go a bit, like I said, go aggressive. Uh, you know, Japan seems to reward it quite a lot in re in you know previous seasons I've done at Japan. So I think we'll we'll, we'll stick with stick with the softs. I think, um, and also there's rain then the mediums might not come into it and the softs might be a tire we want to go on to if there's enough if it's a kind of you know middle-ish kind of period of dry weather uh, in in amongst the, the wetness um that's not english but you know what i mean basically um with the soft tires thing will be better even though a lot of people seem to be going on mediums i think uh you know what just go, let's, let's let's just go for it i want to send it we're going we're going for a ferrari we may as well go aggressive on the strategies and try and just make the best of it so uh let's come in for the setups and see we have a setup from last year that is pretty okay with Gasly. Let's have a see how it is with Verstappen. Okay, a little bit better. Mm, Handling-wise, though, not great. What is Gasly saying for the handling-wise uh, in terms of any indication of what he wants? 88%. So it's it's uh, not that great, actually. Uh, Handling-wise, I don't know. I'm going to say maybe oversteer, but that seems a bit too low on the suspension. So I'm going to actually go towards understeer. Uh, speed balance, top end speed. Let's go for like there. And then let's lower the, the downforce a tad. And see how that goes. Let's see. Let's see how that goes uh, for him. We'll go eight laps and softs. And I'm going to do the same thing for Verstappen. Going to go hard on the suspension and go towards understeer. Downforce. He seems fine, so we don't need to change that. Um, I'll go right to the edge there. That might be a little bit too aggressive, but let's see. And then uh, top end speed. I'll just go a little bit more. So let's try that. That's going to be quite aggressive for him on the handling. But eight laps, softs, and I'll just stick them out there, basically. We'll see how we go after we got the knowledge on the on the race trim and the softs. And it's actually raining a little bit as well. Didn't realize that. Okay, a little bit of rain. That's fine. It's, it'll be a little bit damp, so it'll hamper the knowledge a little bit of the soft tires. But I, I'm just going to keep them out on softs. There's no point pitting in for inters. Uh, it's only like three laps, basically, at most on inters. So we'll just keep them out on soft tires at the moment. Right, bringing Max in because I want to go out on a set of super soft tires to get some knowledge because we're only 13 minutes left in this session. So I don't think we'll have enough time. 85%. So that was on the edge. So let's just move that down a tick. Uh, bring this back down there. And that might be something like that. Something like that might be the way to go. So I'm going to go race from again, but now on super softs. Finish off that level three. Come in quick then. For a set. Actually, you know what? Verstappen, we may as well just go on quali. And then maybe with Gasly, we don't bring him in. Yeah, Gasly, I'll continue out for a little bit longer on this just to get the race trim finished up. 
There we go. Gassi will finish off level 3 for us. And so now we can bring him in. He's had a horre... Wow. 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 We. That is the wrong way to go for him, mate. Jesus. Right. Looks like we're going to the edge of this then for downforce. Um, he didn't really respond to the handling. So we need to go in the middle, I think. And then the speed balance, he did not like. Um, so maybe something like that in the middle, maybe? Is that the way he wants to go? I can't really tell, to be honest. Or maybe he wants to go the complete opposite way and go for really a lot of acceleration. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's try that. It seems like maybe he wants to go that way. And then for the handling, let's bring this to tick there. Bring this back. Let's see how that goes. Uh, quality, three laps, super softs, go. All right, one minute to go, uh, getting towards that. We'll maybe just tick over for level three. So we're going to get lucky here with the amount of set work I've had to do with Gasly. But we will get level three with 20 seconds to spare there. Good stuff. Got all the knowledge. Verstappen's got a three excellent setup. So he's looking mega this weekend. Gasly, I can't lie, not so much. His form's low. We've had to do four setup changes. I don't know even if this is going to be good enough. Um, we'll have to see going to quali. But it might be a bit of a quiet Grand Prix for Gasly, unfortunately. But Verstappen is looking in a mega shape here. Right, it's dry and quali. So no rain to talk about quite yet. So the rain might just be saved for the race. I'm kind of hoping the rain does come so we can use kind of more super softs in the race. I think that might be a better Grand Prix for us, in, per, for us personally. But we'll take super softs in, of course, and the quali. Let's have a quick gander here on the setup. Oh, in the end, bang. In the end, the last setup change I made for Gasly was three excellence. How about that? So both our cars are looking good. Just need to hope that Gasly's form picks up a little bit and he can do the job uh, same as uh, Verstappen here. But Q1... Uh, usual stuff, really. We should get through onto soft tyres, so... And we've got enough softs to spare for the race, so we can afford to just go out in this one set and bang it in and get through into Q2. All right, end of the session, then. Verstappen, P8. Gasly, P4. So, Gasly has bucked up a little bit in this session, then. But, of course, it doesn't matter. We're just getting through the sessions. No surprise knockouts this time. Both Ferraris make it in, and both Mercs. So, into Q2, then. Let's see if there's any surprises there. But, for now, again, like Russia, in a way, Gasly's looking the stronger of the two, but obviously, like Russia, Verstappen surprises in the end. So let's just wait and see, really. Right, Q2, and it is raining in Q2 now. But only for a little bit. Then it'll be dry. So let's just wait this out. It's going to get dry pretty... Ooh, hang on. It's getting dry now. Let's send them out now. Is that going to be enough time? I, I beg to God that is enough time. Right, send out. Send out on super softs. That might be a little bit close on that heavy rain coming. Let's go, 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 peeps. Let's go. It's going to be close. They might get half a lap in on dries before it really starts chucking it down. But that might just be enough. That might be what they need as it comes down. Spray comes down. Last sector is going to be slow. But across the line, they make it P2, P5. That's fine. I had a bit of a panic attack there. That wasn't going to be enough dry period for them to get through. That's fine, though. And Leclerc might be screwed there. He's not saying good enough time. Vettel was very close as well to being knocked out there. So we might have one less Ferrari to worry about in Q3 and for the race then in the top flight, which is very good news for us. But both Mercs are looking fine. Uh, but we are through. One second off Hamilton, but I suspect Hamilton had actually quite a good uh, dry run because I missed time that for sure. So we got lucky there. But uh, thankfully into Q3 and it's actually Leclerc who pops in a better time and Vettel is the one that gets knocked out. Okay, I thought I thought Leclerc was going to be the one for sure. But no, Vettel's the Ferrari now that gets knocked out. Interesting, okay. And Ricardo, that's a shock as well. Both Renaults, that'll be a frustration for them. Only one Renault through into the top 12. And now it's all sunny in Q3. There might be some water on track later though, so I'm not going to take that risk. Going to send them out straight away for an early lap here. And uh, then we'll worry about a second lap a little bit later on. Right, Verstappen across the line. Hamilton setting two purples though. Hamilton is better by two tenths there to Verstappen. But we're quite close with Verstappen, actually. That's quite a good lap time. And Gasly not too far off uh, as well. So that's pretty good. Is there any rain later? No, there is not. So we have time. The track group's going to go up and up and up. So we have time for a better lap, potentially. So let's wait this one out. It's a 119 lap time. So we'll wait till two minutes to go. And we'll send them both out there. And uh, hopefully they can bang in a good lap. Hopefully Verstappen can do the job he did in Russia. And try and back a surprise pole here again, maybe. Right, Verstappen and Gasly are out. They start their flying laps. It's a good and good preparation for Verstappen there. So no perfect. Same thing for Gasly. So I don't know how the track is feeling for them. Let's see. Is it going to be a green? Yes, it is. It's green, but it's not purple. Uh, Hamilton's gone 
five tenths faster. So Verstappen needs to find a lot of time in second sector and third. He's finding green, but he's still five tenths off. That'll be just about enough to get back into second as Bottas. Now makes it a one-two lockout for Mercedes. Verstappen to the line. Will it be anything to knock Bottas off? No, it won't be. Sadly, Mercedes this time around in Japan have too much pace. Gasly goes white and white across the line. Doesn't improve. He's P4. So we lock out the second row. But Mercedes look to be very strong around here. But at least we're ahead of Leclerc. Vettel's out. Obviously, he didn't make it through. So our mission of trying to beat Ferrari is still very much on track. So let's not be downbeat. Let's forget about Mercedes, really. Let's focus on Ferrari. We're ahead of Leclerc. Way ahead of Vettel. It's a good job, to be fair. All right, so here we are at the Grand Prix. And it is raining at the start here. So we're going to start on Inters. And then it's going to go to dry periods around lap. Ooh, I would say that's uh, 16, maybe, or 18. Um, so if there's 18 laps... 18 laps on Inters. These should be 18 laps fine. Uh, yeah, 41. Yeah, no brainer. Uh, so 18 laps then. So afterwards, there'll be how many laps left? 48. 38 laps left. 38 laps. That is probably soft tire territory. That is not super softs. It could be two sets of super softs, but do I really want to take that risk? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just try and go on soft tires to the end, really. So... To that effect, we'll be on softs the longest. So I'm going to take in soft tire knowledge and the race trim. And I think that'll be the way to go. Obviously, we don't have any inter knowledge to take in. So may as well take in soft tire knowledge. We're both starting on inters. I believe most of the grid will do that. There's no, no, no surprise on dry tires. Nope. So here we go then. I'm uh, going to go full out attack. And uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I haven't really noticed our car being better or worse in, in the wet. So let's just see how this goes. But hopefully we can try and do something to attack the Mercedes cars. In this opening little wet period. As we go now to five red lights for the Japanese Grand Prix. From the second row of the grid. P3, P4. Five red lights are out on the way. It's a stonking start for Pierre Gasly there. He's up into second. He's overtaken Valtteri Bottas into turn one. Verstappen with a surprising slow start. But Bottas comes back at Gasly. Gasly able to defend though. So for now... He maintains that second place. Hamilton, obviously, we know how OP his AI is. So I'm not expecting us to be chasing after Hamilton. Right now, though, we did set a, a brief purple first sector. Verstappen, though, let's focus on him. We need to try and get him back ahead of Bottas then. Uh, well, not back ahead of Bottas, but you know what I mean. Basically, getting onto the tail of Bottas because I was surprised that Gasly was the one that got him. Vettel's made a great start. He's up into P7. So, you know, we're, we're saying we're ahead of Ferrari, but there's still going to be a threat. Leclerc's right there. For the taking in P5. Um, and Vettel's not too far off. So need to keep our heads down. And make sure we actually try and beat Ferrari for, for sure. In this race. But we're doing a, doing a good job at the start here. Gasly maintaining ahead of Bottas. Verstappen though you can see is falling away a little bit. From Bottas. And he's coming to the clutches of Leclerc. We need to worry about fuel as well. Go down to medium already. Let's go pushing here. Is everyone doing the same thing? Eh, a few people are attacking. Still Leclerc still attacking. So I'll, go, I'll keep on attacking with Verstappen. Just to make sure we stay ahead. Let's calm things down now. Settle into a rhythm of this Grand Prix. 1.4 is the gap to Hamilton from Gasly. Not surprising, to be honest. So I think we're aiming for 2-3 in this race. I think we can get Bottas with Verstappen, hopefully. Um, we showed that last race at Russia. Verstappen had some good pace over Bottas. Um, and I think that's the highest we can hope for here. So let's focus on Verstappen now and try and get him ahead. Oh, Leclerc's overtaken us. Leclerc... Has got us there. I think he's pushing, maybe. No, he's not even pushing. He just got overtake. Uh, for some reason, Verstappen just a little bit slow there. And that's unfortunate because his tyre temps are quite high. So I can't afford to really push him anymore. So that's uh, quite odd. Gasly's doing a mega job compared to Verstappen right now. He's conserving. He's still ahead. He can now start pushing, really. So Verstappen, I think we have to conserve a little bit. Try and stick with Leclerc and push again a little bit later. Right, lap 10, sit rep onto lap 11. Gasly conserving his tyres because we overheated them a little bit. Uh, but we're still going a little bit fast compared to last lap there. But Bottas is right on our tail. Going to have to burn some fuel, I think, to stay ahead here. So a bit tactical of burning the fuel. But I think it's crucial at this point to do that. Meanwhile, Verstappen is still keeping Leclerc honest. But nothing yet to catch up to him. And both... Well, Gasly has a little bit more fuel to burn, maybe, at this stage of the race here. 7.4, though. Hamilton really is just a bit too too OP in this in, in, in every mod I've played with uh, with uh, on most mod manager. Hamilton's always been mega mega fast, and it's just so hard to get in when you, you you basically have to have an OP car yourself to beat the OP AI of, of Hamilton. Because obviously I'm beating Bottas right now, and they've got the same car, so 
it is always a little bit frustrating there. Eight seconds the gap. So we're just trying to do the best job at staying ahead of Bottas at this stage. Right, 15 lap, uh, 15, lap 15. We've probably got maybe about eight, uh, maybe three, three more laps, I would say, maybe till the dry period starts coming in. So I might start pushing these guys and not really caring they overheat their tyres a little bit because it might be worth it for the in-laps. I don't know, I'll give, I'll give them one more lap to conserve and build up enough tyre temperature to really push flat out. But I don't think many people are pushing right now, apart from Bottas on fuel there, Leclerc as well for a little bit. We're going to make them start pushing here. Lap 17, track's coming down a little bit, so let's push, push, push. Uh, we've already got one pit for Alonso. Dampness on track is quite low. I'll, Hamilton's pit. I'm going to say... Let's pit him with Gasly, give him priority, obviously, onto a set of soft tyres. Fast pit. Can he get to the end? We've got... It's 17 laps. Let me quickly do this on the calculator. Just don't get this wrong. 56, 17. We've got 39 laps. We should just be able to do this with Gasly, which kind of makes me think we should stay out for one more lap with Gasly, you know, just to make sure we can do it, maybe. But at the same time, don't want to lose track position to Bottas. Is Bottas going to come in? Leclerc's overtaken. Is he going to come in? No. Bottas, is he coming in? No. Gas, Hamilton's coming in. Is Stroll going to come in? Stroll, I can't tell, actually. So I can't tell yet. Um, I'm going to keep Gasly out there on high fuel. And I'm going to bring, I'm gonna bring in Verstappen because he can definitely go a little bit longer, I think. 40, oh, actually, hang on. 41 laps. 41 laps. Apparently, Gasly has the same tyre, whereas Verstappen, this race. So, actually, no. I'm going to bring in Gasly, then. I'm going to give him priority. They have the same tyre, apparently. So, I'm going to bring in Gasly, then. And I'll keep Verstappen out for one more lap. Right, Gasly's in. Uh, is Leclerc going to come in with us? Yes, he does. Bottas comes in. It's a good pit stop for us. And we are out. And we're going to go out on mediums. Push. Right, Verstappen's in now. He lost uh, maybe about seven tenths there. But obviously, he would have lost more time double stacking with Gasly because he was too close to him. But we come out. Oh, you know what? Yeah, forget about it. We lost some time. But we went fast enough to beat Leclerc and Bottas. What an overcut there by Max Verstappen. Gets up into third place. What a man. What a machine. Love it, Verstappen. Love it. P2 and P3. This is exactly where we want to be. And now we try and take this to the end of the Grand Prix just like this. Love your work, Verstappen. Love your work. Good stuff there, mate. Good stuff. And Sergio Perez has crashed. Oh, it's a quite a big crash there for Sergio Perez. Uh, so anyway, uh, sit right then on uh, lap 21. This is, we go on to it, or lap 20, lap 20. Uh, the top three in soft tyres. So I think all three of us are trying to go to the end of the Grand Prix. Leclerc and Bottas are definitely going to make another pit stop. So we don't actually need to worry if uh, Leclerc overtakes us, really. So I'm going to kind of calm things down with Verstappen. And you know what? I have a sense, maybe, that Hamilton, I don't know, like last time, maybe he just pushes a little bit harder. Actually, to be fair, he's backing up, actually. I was going to say maybe he pushes too hard. He has to make an extra pit stop as well. But he's backing up quite a fair bit. So he's protecting his tyres a lot. So I think the top three, we're going for a one-stop here. The P4, 5, and 6, they're doing two stops. So I don't, think we need to, I don't think we need to worry too much. Let's just maintain and monitor. And I'll keep you guys updated as we go through here. But lap 30, uh, 21, 36 laps remaining. I'm quietly confident here. And Verstappen is closing up majorly to Gasly here. If he can't overtake naturally within three laps, I'm going to let Verstappen through because it just seems the most logical thing for our championship. All right, Verstappen's made a move around the outside. The hairpin, it's a good move there. Max around the outside, the long way around, gets Gasly. Verstappen P2, Gasly P3. That was all, all natural, you can see there. I'm on, on the strategy. I'm all on race, to, uh, race uh, so that was a, a genuine natural move by Verstappen there for P2. Gasly now down to P3, but ooh, he jumps up a little bit. Ooh, you know what? He's fighting them a little bit. I need to be wary of this. They fight too much. It's going to be bad news for us because Bottas now is right up our chuff. Let's just calm things down, lads. Let's calm things down. Let's not race too hard out there. Right, lap 37, 20 laps remaining. Hamilton setting a fast lap of the Grand Prix. So uh, he's got plenty of pace in the tank. We're 20 seconds off him with Verstappen. Gasly a further six seconds back now. So genuinely Verstappen had the pace there. So fair play to him for overtaking him on track and getting the job done and moving on with it. Gasly's been kept very honest. 
by Bottas for this entire stint, pretty much. He's always been in with one, within one second. The blue flag cars aren't helping. Our traffic, the traffic definitely is a bit of a hassle getting through, and Bottas is sticking with us via that, really. But they're definitely pitting. Bottas and Leclerc definitely pitting because Vettel's on the same strategy. He's pit. So I'm not too worried here. Gas, he's been soaking up the pressure. Just, just need to worry about the tyre wear, really, and try and make, make sure we can bring this thing home here. So um, I'm not too worried, actually. Fuel's looking great as well for both cars. I've actually gone high for Verstappen because he could afford to. Probably can go, afford to go high now with Gassi for a little bit and try and compensate. Uh, looking good, though. I'm actually very genuinely calmed with how this race is going. Bottas will pit in. Gasly's got a really bad form, 2.4. That's the only worrying thing about this race is that Verstappen has 8.9 form. Gasly, 2.4. Very low form. So I just hope he's got enough pace at the end of this race to see this through in P3. Oh, what the... What? Hang on. What? Did I just see that? Did I just see Alfa Romeo sideways? Yep. What the... You guys saw that. I wasn't paying attention properly. I was kind of like skim reading the results. What? I think Raikkonen just hit Gasly because Gasly got spun round under investigation for, for causing collision with a man we were lapping. What? Come on. He was... We were being... La we were lapping him. Have we got damage? No, we don't have damage. Okay. Um, but he might have a drive-through. No action taken. Thank God for that. Wow. What the hell? No damage. Thank God, though. What the hell on earth was that? We were lapping Raikkonen, and we collided with him because with him he had, like, he was sideways on track. Okay, that was a close one. That was a close one. Sigh of relief there. Sigh of relief. Right, Hamilton's pit. He's uh, still in P1. So I think we should just pit with Verstappen and Gasly, to be fair. There's nothing to lose, really, um, because Bottas and Leclerc pit as well. I think it'd be worth it to pit, really. So let's start pushing these flat out. And uh, Pitt. And Giovinazzi's... Oh, Giovinazzi's crashed. There's safety cars out. Oh, we're pitting now, boys. We're pitting now. Free pit stop. Thank you very much. Low fuel. Low fuel. Pit in. What a... What's, what timing there for us? Free pit stop. Thank you very much. All right, Verstappen's out. P2. Gasly with the free pit stop. Out in P3. Good stuff there. Lovely stuff. P3, P2. Saving fuel. Tyres looking fine. Let's uh, go back up and obviously run the safety car somewhere as well. We're looking fine and dandy. And actually, you know what? At the end of this race, there might be a slight chance. Oh, well, not actually. No, there's a lot of cars between us and Hamilton. I was going to say maybe on the restart we can try and pounce on Hamilton. But no, there's a lot of cars blue flagged ahead of us there, unfortunately. So probably not. But at least we can just, you know, chill out now. Right, we go to the green lights, and here we go. Verstappen gets past all of those cars, and he's now chasing after Lewis Hamilton on overtake mode. We're giving everything we've got. Hamilton's not on overtake mode. He's only on high. Interesting. We're going to go overtake mode for both drivers. Let's really attack here. Let's see if Verstappen can get Hamilton here. We don't have a lot of fuel to play around with, but we have some decent amount. Let's go, go, go. Purple. Now let's go down to high for both drivers. Verstappen's got the ghastly tire temps shot up there. Verstappen's still got some tire temps to play with, but Verstappen has uh, uh, met his match because Hamilton's also set a purple time there, unfortunately. But let's just keep the pressure on. Ricardo's crashed. Ooh, that's a big crash. P9, he's crashed. And then, oh, what the hell? Safety guards out again. What? Two safety guards in a race. Jeez. Okay, calm things down again. All right, safety guards heading to the garage on this lap. So we're going to go attack mode. And go overtake for both drivers here. We need to because Bottas is right behind us now. There's no traffic in between. It's uh, This is the literal top order. No traffic for anyone really. So here we go on the restart. Let's see how this goes then. Come on, Max. Come on. Safety car return to pit lane. Verstappen's pushing down the inside. Red Bull Honda v Mercedes down the inside. Into turn one. The restart. Verstappen battles for P1. And Gasly's auto through to 1 2 for Red Bull. But Hamilton's been squeezed out. He's down to P5. It's a massive bottle for Lewis Hamilton. Down behind Lance Stroll in the racing point car. Who's in. Oh! It's a mistake for Gasly. He has to go through the runoff there. He's down to P5. That's really frustrating. It's no longer a 1-2. He made a bad mistake. 
Come on, Pierre. You can't be doing that now. Verstappen, though. P1. What a lad. Come on, Max. Let's do this. Let's do this job. Let's go high mode now because everyone's... Oh, actually, Bottas. Let's go overtake mode. Let's keep with overtake mode until he comes off overtake. Yellow flags and overtaking sector three. Something's happened. We're still overtake mode. We're still overtake mode. Five laps remaining. We're going to run out of fuel, though, so we need to go high soon. I'm going to go high. I'm going to bail out this sooner than Bottas. Hamilton's back into P2. It's Hamilton P2 now. He's chasing after us. He wants the P1 back. And Gasly, come on, mate. Let's get back past Stroll, please. At least make up for that mistake and get into P4 uh, minimum here. But for now, Verstappen continues on. We're looking okay. How, how the hell does Hamilton have this much fuel to go overtake mode for this long? Really? Robert Kibitz has got a penalty. We're on medium fuel. How does Hamilton and Bottas have this much fuel to spare? What? Oh, yellow flags. Oh, there's a massive collision. Bottas is the wrong way round. Look at that. What on earth is this race? Bottas is spun. Gasly's back up into P3. He slammed it into, uh, he slammed it into Vettel. Mad. Madness. So Gasly's P3 now. Let's just have a look here. We're both conserving, trying to bring tire temps down. Hamilton is backing up to bring tire temps down. He pushed so hard. That's how much he's having to, to save the tires. Gas is now up into P3. He's got past on Stroll. Things are looking amazing right now for us. Right, two laps to go in this Grand Prix. Come on. 0 0.9 the gap. The stop. Uh, oh, Hamilton's pushing hard now. Let's push with him. Let's go high as well, please. Right, let's save some fuel now. First sector. Save fuel in the first sector. That's fine. Keep going. Save fuel. Save fuel. Looking good. Right, full out attack now, mate. Full out attack. Medium. Full out, full out attack with Gasly. Medium. He's going fuel. Through the hairpin. We've got 1.3. The gap to Hamilton. And so we come through the last bend. It's going to be the win. Two wins in a row for Max. Flipping Verstappen there in the Red Bull Honda. Get in, lads. And it's a double podium for Red Bull Honda. Gasly P3. Good stuff, lad. Made up for the crash. Uh, the mistake he made earlier in Sector 1. Just at the end of that Grand Prix. What a race. What a race. 1-3. Bonkers. So much went on that Grand Prix. That was amazing. Verstappen P1 though. Two wins on the trot for Red Bull Honda and Max Verstappen. Eat your heart out, Ferrari. We're here, baby. We're here to take second place. There we go. P3 and P2. Uh, we had a 10-second ti time penalty, apparently. Uh, I think we already... Wait, what was that even for? I don't know what that was for. I don't know if it got applied. Whatever the case, 1 and 3 absolutely amazing stuff there. Mega, mega. Get in, mate. Verstappen comfortably now P2 in the championship. And Gasly slowly is creeping up to Leclerc. But there we have it. We are P2. We are P2 in the Constructors' Championship now. Ahead of Ferrari by two points. Mega job this season, guys. Mega job. That's a lot of prize money difference, I think. Three million in the bank. That is a, that is a beautiful episode. That was, that was a pristine episode. That was really, really mega. That was probably one of the best races I've had in a long while on this game in terms of the excitement levels. That was great. So guys, if you did enjoy that one, be sure to smash the like button. That was such a crazy race. Can we try and aim for 1,000 likes on this episode? That was mad. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around here, to subscribe for weekly Fallout content. I've been Aaron Fah. I hope you're today, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.